Hi right, guys, how's it going? Dadovich Nick here with Sketcher. Hello. And uh, we've been doing a heap of work around here. Yeah. Now I've got to um, make something clear. This is all temporary. Everything here will eventually be a large hole in the ground. Because where that quarry is, is where I intend to build the new base. Just so you're aware. Mm. Anyway, so that's down to around level 21. I've got some scuba gear ready, so once it gets down lower than that, I'll keep an eye out for diamonds. Wait. Hmm. I was going to do it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I'll just hide behind this tree. <laughs> <laughs> He's already gravity gunned me a couple of times. Yeah. And portable hold me a few more times. What's log doing here? It's a uh, barrel. Oh, okay. What's it for? Hmm? Brewing. Ah, okay. Should have known you'd be getting into the beer. <laughs> um, yeah, we built a blast furnace. Not well, we're actually using it, but uh, we built it. Uh, what else have we been busily doing? Uh, moving stuff around the soul forge. Uh, Sketcher built this uh, sandstone pipe here because this was filling up with crap, basically. Uh, we now have an induction furnace cooking stone, which is really good because we're going to need a lot of that. Uh, the rubber extractor is still rubbering away. Build an extract a macerator here so I can get uh, sand to run the peat bog. What else have we got? This thing here, Sketcher built to turn the sawdust, comes out of the off the wood into charcoal. As you can see, we've got a few bits there. And that happens automatically when you saw wood now, which is really good. Did have a couple of issues. Um, one of the things I did talk about before was the uh, factorization metals. You see, these are the crystalline stuff here. Crystalline tin. That seems to be going. The tin seems to be going straight in here, mate. Uh, yeah. See on the. No, it shouldn't be going no, in there. Shouldn't be going in. Yeah. I don't know how that's happening. Don't know. Anyway, um, there's something I want to explain about that. If I get this crystalline tin here and pop it into the pulverizer, absolutely nothing happens. What I have to do is cook it. Now, if I just cook a piece of this tin, like so, cooking, 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 cooked. Okay, it will now be in this barrel somewhere. Uh, Where's he gone? Should be a lone piece of tin in here somewhere. Maybe it is put in there, put it in. Gonna try. Forty-four there. Forty-five. Okay, well that works fine. The uh, the gold's fine. I don't know that. Uh, might be the copper that I was having trouble with. I don't seem to have any of that left here, so. Ah, no, copper. I did have a couple of different types of copper for some reason. Ferrous ingots, just one silver. I know it was one of these. Anyway, so what I'm doing basically cooking it, grinding it, turning it into the other stuff. So that'll all work out. So all the other stuff here, some more tin and the gold. And I'll just run that all through the system. Let's have a look here. Um, silver. No, that's busy. Chuck the silver in here. And see what that turns into. That turns into a different sort of silver. Ah, uh, here we go. So that's one sort of silver. Yeah, another sort of silver. So that is a bit of a drama. It's weird how it does that. You'd think you yeah. would uh, make it sort of the same. Because it comes out of a different sort of system. Yeah. Anyway. Put that over there. And I'll just cook the rest of this. Actually that tin can go straight in there. And probably the gold can as well. I don't think there's any more than one type of gold. What's that? Not silver. Do throw this in there. Put 
Anyway, visually producing. We've been going through lots and lots of um, resources. I have to go out and sort that out. I've um, also been doing a lot of work downstairs. So, uh, uh, Sketcher did a bit of a automation on the cactus farm outside. Yeah. Really handy. I put barrels here for mob drops. I actually built myself a little mob trap downstairs, and I now have a tier five creeper shard and a tier five skeleton shard. There you go. Thank you very much. As I said, I've been portable hold and um, gravity gunned and all sorts whenever I go AFK to try and work anything out. Too this much fun. apparatus here is designed to make solar panels. Not real quick, but it does the job. So, what are we short on now? No more copper lane. No, rubber. Short on rubber again. Anyway, as you can see, comes up, uses all the materials, and slowly but surely builds up uh, solar panels, just the LV type ones. Then I get these over here, and I pop them into this. Now I've got an LV transformer here. So now I have low voltage solar arrays, four of those now. And uh, as you can see, slowly but surely, we're going to build that up. Now I'm going to use those in the new base, so I'm not really going to bother trying to set them up now. And -ah! more room. Excellent. There, looking down the bottom. This was pretty well, pretty full of different sorts of materials, and now it's uh, very empty of all sorts of materials. I've got more copper cooking. Uh, need more refined iron. I've got more more of that cooking upstairs as well. And these solar panels. I tell you, even the um, these are the non Greg Tech ones, and uh, even they use up a heap of resources. Anybody who says they're easy to do, well maybe they are easy, but they certainly use up a heck of a lot of resources. And oh, no. Copper I'm short of at the moment. Got plenty of iron, plenty of silver, need that like a hole in the head. Uh, I've already done that. I've got some more to go through though. Alright. I've got to go upstairs and sort it. No. Uh, no. Maybe I already did put it up through. I've got about three lots of tin cooking upstairs. Okay. And I can do um, two lots of copper. So. This is the normal place it goes into. Oh, here we go. Yes. Cook away there. Get some more of the This has been around the corner here. Is that used? Yes. Tin. Each of those takes about 20 minutes to go through. So um, here we go. As you can see, there's some uh, copper gravel going in there. And that goes gets washed, sent out here. What explain this system? So I get more out of each lot, which is good because I really need it. I was actually doing pretty well on the copper until I started building those solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... Ouch. Very resource hungry. Bell, right? Yeah. What do you do? You gotta click on it with like a cup or something or? Uh you need to make a mug, yeah, but it'll probably be another ten fifteen minutes before it's done before it's done or whatever. Oh, okay. Mm, let's see. Stone mug is like um That's right? Yep. You want one? Sure. Yeah, we also need to tap into it to make a tree So I'll leave it for the moment if you reckon it's going to be better later. 
Yeah, it will work. Here you go. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a stone. Cooking up. Stone in here. Mm, I've got a barrel for that at the moment. Going. I think we're out of. Yeah. Yeah, out of cobble. That's alright. Uh, yeah, you go in there. I was just using that to fix the floor up downstairs. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll take you right. it down and show you the mob trap that I was using. Just a real basic sort of vanilla sort of mob trap. Um, I did have a different system in here. I was using obsidian pipes and spitting cans of lava through the nether portals and whatnot. And I found out that over time, somehow I was losing cans. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I succumbed and went to the ender chest system and uh, it's working fine now. Yeah, basically I just kept running out of lava and at the moment, apart from sucking the nether nearly dry of lava, and behold, uh, this seems to be working all right. Yeah. There's scrap the problem, coming through. The problem with the system you got here is that when more scrap comes in after the amplifier turns off, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, there are a couple of drums. I'm using these gates here, and um, should be no amplifier emit redstone signal, which basically turns it off, which is fine. Mm. But when it fills back up again, it doesn't turn off. It doesn't turn back on. So what I've got to do is turn that and then turn it back on. And then if you look, she's working again. Well, I'm not really sure why that is, but that uh, is definitely a problem. Mm. There's also a uh, iron pipe upstairs, the one that takes the scrap into the top of the barrel, uh, switches direction every time I log off and log back on again. It's a real pain in the bum. Anyway, this is your standard sort of mob trap here. Just uh, uses etho roads here to take everything into the centre there and drop it down a big tube. Uh, I made it out of wood because that's what I had available on me, that's what I had the most of available. And down around the side here, I made use of the big holes that I had left from the turtles to build this. Now the base here is made out of obsidian so that when, when creepers explode, no, I didn't say if, I said when, <laughs> yep. They don't take out the whole bottom and then I have about 400 angry zombies after me. So, uh, yeah, basically I just stood down here. Uh, I used my emerald sword to kill the monsters I didn't want and I used the vile sword here to kill the ones that I did want with the souls down. So that's where I got those shards from. Spiders are a bit of an issue for some reason. Um, they tend, You only get a couple of spiders that actually survive to get down to the bottom. Um, I think what it is, as soon as they touch the wall, they start climbing, and then they drop from the top again and die. Right. Anyway, we'll have a look at this in a second. Uh, stupid helmet. Press there. And, and away we go. Down, 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 down. As you can see, my air things um, is working off the cans. And here we are. Level 20. So I've still got a ways to go yet before I have to start worrying about the uh, diamonds. And off we go. It's one of the good things about wearing a jetpack. And all you do is just whack the empty cells back into the, uh, I've got it set in hover mode, which is why I'm riding so slowly, just in case anybody's wondering. Mm, down here. Loads of ocelots around here. But it'd be really funny watching them down the bottom of the hole. Ah, uh, where are we? Full presser. So I just get the empty cells that I've used up, whack them in the compressor there, and that refills them with air, compressed air, 
when they're ready to go for next time. You see? So I'll probably get those in later. In the meantime, I can go back in my bag. In one of my bags. Okay, well that's pretty much uh, what we've been doing. It doesn't sound like a lot, but... Um, it's taken us long enough. Yeah, it's taken a heap of work. Uh, getting a load of resources out of that hole there. Of course, we're using them up just as quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, with tons of Zycraft crap. These quartz crystals are a pain in the bum. As you can see, they never ever stack properly. But if I put them into my inventory, now it's a single stack. Go figure. Yeah, just about up to having to put an extension on the coal barrel. It's pretty crazy. Mm, that's good. Because I'm not really using it to burn or anything. Really all I'm doing is, uh, actually, I will macerate a pole of that. Mm. Do I find the macerator? No. That's the one I've got to fix. I wish it's not overclocked for that much. Yeah, well, I had some in there. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Well, you might have put them out and put them in there. No, see them in the extractor? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd have them in the extractor. Oh, I just swapped them around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, so that was fast. You got the induction furnace that doesn't need any. That's going great guns. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Got plenty of stuff. Yeah. Stuff. The main reason I actually built this macerator was to uh, create sand because I'm still not getting enough out of the system that I'm using out here. And then the pit could run out again while look at these. Tree farm, it's actually full of good. Full as the proverbial fat lady sock. Buckets are what's lying down a leak. That's pretty much semi automatic at the moment, so there's going to be a heap of empty buckets up here. And then up here, and put them into the liquid for this table. And like I said, I could probably uh, just automate that. But it works alright. We've got plenty more peat than we need, so. Um, yeah, we're not, so really running out of we're not really using peaks much anyway. So. Yeah, really. That's music. Oh, it's out of peak. Mm -hmm. Turn the tree farm off. Full of um, music down here as well. Dash to make fertilizer as well. The U button in that. That's a little oil. And there we go. Uh, there. 
sand, and ash gives you two fertilizer. So it's not as good as the appetite in sand, but not like you're going to run out in a hurry either. No, no. Let's see here. Okay, you want to shut up, you just replant it. Yeah. Right. So basically what he's done here is put pistons in the middle and you flip this lever here and pistons come up and pop all the cactuses off. Right. You just replant them. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Pretty simple. Yeah, very simple. Now you could automate this, you could easily do it with um, just signs on floating blocks. You just have obsidian pipes down below picking it up, but uh, it's just as easy as far as you look. And the peat bog is peating away. Nice. Oh, Let's go to the other side there. And that tree front is now looking too. See what I'm, I'm just going to use the appetite. I'll just throw that stuff yeah, through the recycler. Because we're running out of stone at the moment. Mm. Well, we're not running out of stone. Yeah, I'm just collecting. I'm just collecting a lot of it. So. Hmm? Oh, the in the power zone. You are? Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. All right. And shrubs. As you can see, I've got a load of saplings up there. I intend to use um, some sort of uh, biofuel system as well in the new in the new base. So it'll all be renewable stuff. I probably won't use the lava system over there. Uh, although I probably could, but I'm just going to stick with biofuel and peat. And eventually, solar panels for everything. Eventually. Yeah. Portable holding. Yeah, it's really useful. Mm, it is great. Let me show you everything out here. Now, for some reason, every time we log out and log back in again, a lot of our chickens have disappeared. We've been breeding the crap out of these this morning. And of course, my favourite part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reload. Reload. Yeah, they are, mate. <laughs> Super flying chicken. Yeah, you know, the cattle going here. Probably read three days again too. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is about that. I've been having the problems with that engine up there too. I tried to put a gate on it and uh, get it just run for a bit and then stop. No. Right. So I couldn't figure out why, so I just ended up putting a lever back on it and I'm running it permanently when I've got stuff up there. Brilliant, but I'll do the job. And how's this going? Okay, that's finished up. I'm going to chuck another half stack of copper through. Alright. Just drop it into the relay there. No, what? There you go. Nice, thanks. Half a stack of that. Yep. yep. Good. I'm not 100% sure, but I think a full stack would overload the system. Okay. 
and all the rest of the tin cooking in them. So the two resources that I need the most, tin and copper, which of course the um, system downstairs uses the most of. I wonder if I can chuck this stuff through this recycler as well. Yeah. So when you can you can make um, clay. clay out of it, but that takes dirt. I've got better stuff to do with dirt, so. Mm, I mean, you don't really want clay for anything much. Yeah, you just need to make bricks out of it. And once you've made some bricks, you, you generally don't need any more. Yeah, and clay is easy enough to find now. It's better like ocean or swamp or something. Yeah. Let's see if that's good. Oh yeah, it is good. Empty because that stuff's going straight through there and down into the entrance down to the bottom. 